welcome to raw online today we will discuss about plantar aponeurosis so competency for today's topic will be explain the anatomical basis of metatarsalgia and plantar fasciitis so plantar aponeurosis it is a thick and central part of the deep fascia of sole already we have seen the palmar aponeurosis in hand so it is similar to palmar aponeurosis which is a thick and deep fascia of the sole so morphologically it is a degenerated tendon of plantaris so if you see the palmar aponeurosis that is the degenerated tendon of palmaris longus so here plantar aponeurosis is a degenerated tendon of plantaris so if we see the features of plantar aponeurosis here we can see the plantar aponeurosis which is triangular in shape so which has apex and which is attached to the medial tubercle of calcaneum and there are base which is near the bases of or head of the metatarsals so the base divides into five slips which goes to each toe the slips these are bounded by the transverse facial fibers so the digital nerves and vessels will pass through these interval between the slips now we see each band or each slip which will divides into superficial and deep slip so the superficial will slip is attached to the dermis and it blends with the superficial transverse metatarsal ligament the deep slip will divide into two parts one which is going to be continuous with the fibrous flexor sheath and other one going to be continuous with the transverse deep transverse metatarsal ligament so here again you can see the plantar aponeurosis so from the medial and lateral edges of plantar aponeurosis the vertical septa going to extend deeper and it is going to divide the sole of the foot into the intermediate compartment medial compartment and lateral compartment so that is about the vertical intramuscular septa which is extending from the edges of the plantar aponeurosis and going to divide the sole into compartments so what are the function of plantar aponeurosis the important function of plantar aponeurosis in hand as well as in foot is it is going to fix the skin otherwise the skin of the sole or palm will be loose so the fixing of the skin is the first function and here in plantar aponeurosis we all know we have the tarsal bones seven tarsal bone and it is interconnected by ligaments so we have the longitudinal and transverse arch so this plantar aponeurosis is going to support the longitudinal arch of the foot so that is the other important function of plantar aponeurosis and this plantar aponeurosis being a deep fascia it is going to protect the underlying structure so including the nerve and the vessels it is going to protect the underlying structure so along with these function it is also going to give rise to the muscles of the first layer of sole so these are all the functions of plantar aponeurosis